Yes, guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for my first ever playoff final game. It's the championship playoff final. Huddersfield Town versus Nottingham Forest. Only one of those teams can take the final place in the Premier League next year. And I'm very, very excited to be going. I've just ran the whole, pretty much, Milton Keynes setting blocks, if you've never been here before. I've legit ran from the top of Milton Keynes to the bottom to try and get the train and turns out it's late so i've managed to get out an intro but yeah if you are enjoying the content make sure to smash the like subscribe down below this is actually going to be my last football adventure of this season as soon as the international start i count that as like international break and the season is finished after this one it's the final game obviously congratulations hella madrid last night very very excited to get to this one so it's time to jump on the train on the late train to wembley for today's game let's do it All right, we've made it to Wembley. Never a football match with me unless I'm running a bit late, so it's time to, well, I'm gonna have to go another run. Oh well, let's get to Wembley Stadium. Next time, guys, I'm gonna leave like an hour before I'm gonna say I'm leaving. Obviously, when I'm coming down south, it's a long way for me to come up north, but I'm out of breath already. Flipping heck, there's a lot of resting that I'll do inside, but here's for a good day. Let's enjoy it. Okay, we've made it to Wembley Way stairs and all I can smell is smoke bombs, flares and pyros flipping heck. It probably went off. I'm sorry I'm a bit late and I missed the footage, but... Here we go. The most expensive game in 
side of Yates, I think it was. The ball was put in, it only needed a touch, and it got one. Great, great end to the half on the and that's all time. So there we go, it is half time in the championship playoff final, and it is one nil to not in the forest. And I know I'm in the Huddersfield, but they deserve that goal. They've been much the better team. Huddersfield started well in the first five minutes, then Forest woke up and got into the game a lot, lot more. They had the best chance of the game with a free kick came in from Johnson, I think it was, and it was heading inches wide. Any better contact on it, it's a goal and it's 1 0 to Forest. Uh, Huddersfield have had a couple of chances on their left hand side, uh, but Samba has. Has been, has been a box really, he's managed to save both of the shots that are coming in comfortably. Uh, the corner came short and Hogg got on the end of it. His shot was blocked by Forest players and then the goal came out of nowhere really. It was the ball into the penalty area and I think it's an own goal by Collywell, I think it is. Uh, I think I probably butchered that pronunciation. But the Huddersfield man unfortunately put it in his own net. Gates was on his back but he couldn't do anything. Unfortunately it wasn't going to end and he had the wrong side of Gates. And uh, the goal came, Splitting had great limbs from the Forest fans, and uh, they deserve to be one and off at half time. But the field have been camped on the edge of the road, and off the area, have not really developed unless it was on the counter attack. The Forest have been dictating the play of the game, and the control of the tempo, to be honest, they've been all over the field. It's 1 0 at half time to Forest, and they hang on to be in the Premier League next season. Here we go, second half.
Well, it's the first time that Spence has been caught out of position and he slipped as well. And that means that Huddersfield in on the left hand side, usually they've been taking that on the right hand side. The cross is poor. That's why I was like, they're not going to score here, but the cross is pathetic, really. But it could have been, it could be a penalty. It might get looked at through VAR. Controversial John Moss on your last game. And it's been checked. It's an interesting one. It's a correct decision. Congratulations to Nottingham Forest. 
congratulations to them. The city ground is going to hold Premier League fixtures next year. The likes of Ronaldo, Haaland now, Kai Havertz on the top of my head, Mo Salah, possibly Mane, I don't know about that one. We'll all be coming to the city ground next season. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations to Boris. The supporters are going to enjoy the rest of tonight and next season. Congratulations to them. They deserve to win this game. Team one, and they've had it since the FA Cup. They've been brilliant since the FA Cup, and now they're going to the prime. Commiserate to start the sale. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. They'll be back soon, hopefully. Well, just before the trophy presentation is happening, we'll give you a rundown on the game rapidly. Uh, well, the right team won, the better team won. Arguably, we can talk about those two penalties for Huddersfield, possibly. I'll have to go back and have a look at them to see if there's anything in them. For me, they weren't, and the referee got the right decision. Uh, also, congratulations to John Moss on a brilliant career as well. Uh, hope you enjoy your retirement. I probably won't watch it, but anyway. Uh, Huddersfield gave everything. They gave everything. They never gave it. Except for that chance in the first half, which he saved really well. The corner was well worth other than that, and the two penalties. I don't think Huddersfield really had a clear cut chance. Forrest was that good defensively, and obviously they got their goal. A bit of slight to look about it with the own goal, but that's what you need. The best teams get that little bit of luck, and they find a way to win. And Forrest have found their way to win. And up in the front. to move to segregation line to here. I think they're all Forest fans in the Huddersfield. Well, they've had a great day out regardless.